Yo, what's up, YouTube? Beer Pressure episode number 11. And today we are reviewing Blue Moon. If you could see that. The moon is blue tonight. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, this beer is kind of unfair because we're already biased towards it. Yeah, we both kind of like it, but we're just going to. I guess this review is, it anyways. I guess you can call it a discussion video. Yeah, yeah, because not only does beer taste really good, on top of all that, we actually use it to marinate meat before we barbecue it on the grill the next day, so it's like an all-purpose, multifunctional type beer here. Yeah, Hell and it good. comes out great. Yeah, yeah, it does. Now, let's pour the beer. And let's just yes, conversate without, how good it is. Without any further ado. I'm I'm hearing that it's better with the orange or lemon. I think it's the like orange. Yeah, I think they say it's orange. We gotta try that one day. But it's good straight. I like to drink it straight. Look at that. That's pretty good. Now, according to the freezer test, it passes. Left it overnight, didn't freeze over. That smells good too. 5.4% alcohol by volume. Now, um, I would also like to mention about Blue Moon is, uh, I've noticed that they release new flavors depending on what season we're in. Yeah. Which is also a really cool thing and we will have videos for that down the road. Um, let's see here, what else can I say about it? Mm. I just want to say that we'll once in a while have uh, like videos of us reviewing beers that are common and that are like well liked with a lot of people because it's cool to have a discussion video once in a while also for those of you who want to be technical this is actually not actually it's an ale Belgian white Belgian style wheat ale yeah. And as far as I know, I could be wrong, guys. I could be wrong. But as far as I know, an ale is pretty much an unfiltered beer. It's pretty much what it is. It's a full bodied beer. No compromises. Everything is still in there. So. That's probably why it gives it that good flavor. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a really, really good flavor to it. But, on the same token, it's heavy, too. It's a little heavier. Yeah. But it tastes really good, though. Yeah, really good stuff. Really good stuff. This, honestly, this has been my go-to for a while. It's just Blue Moon. Can't go wrong with that. There's two beers that I really, really like. Number one is Heineken. Number two, Blue Moon. Yep. One or the other. If I want light, go Heineken. If I want more body to it, go Blue Moon. What else is there to say? There really isn't much to say, guys. I mean, now, this is a no novelty beer. You can find this anywhere, honestly. I, w I would be very surprised if your local grocery store didn't so, have it. Here in California, where we live, we have, well, actually. Yeah, I would say just California. We have a state fair. Pretty sure you guys know about that, right? So anyways, I go there with my family. We hang out for a bit. I see a bar there, and I think to myself, well, damn. I would like to go there and try see what they got. So I go there, and I ask for a large beer. And now, here, here's the funny part. Well, it's not really funny because I'm the one who lost out on a lot of money. I it think it's hilarious. It was $10, right? I asked for a large beer. They say $10, right? 
Now, hold, hold the beer up to the camera so they could see that. It was smaller than that. Ten dollars for that. Now, I'm not saying that I couldn't afford it. I could have at the time. However, I just felt it was just crazy and I was I was like I was I was babysitting that beer as long as I could. Ten dollars for it, something like that. It's and was crazy. it the best beer ever? Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> it was really good. I was uh it definitely made an impression on me. That's for sure. I will never forget that. I think that is hilarious. Ten dollars for a beer. Wow. But you gotta expect that from a public event like a state fair. Yeah, and I got uh, other stories too. But we'll get into that another time. Final verdict of the beer? Final verdict? It's kind of biased. Yeah, but... <laughs> it's definitely biased. But if I could rate it or recommend it, I, yeah, I would recommend it. Everybody should try this beer. Rating, I give this a 9. Or a high 8. Easy 9 in my book. Easy 9. Drink it straight. Drink it with an orange. It's all good. Yeah, definitely. Well, thanks for, uh... Thanks for watching. We hope to see you soon. Episode 12. These episodes are growing. Yep. Yeah. Alright, peace. See you next time, and peace.